What is the next level? Where do you want to go? Only way you can go and do the work is if you have a specifically and exact, see exactly and visualize exactly what it is that you want to accomplish. Look at that chest and look at that shape. Nobody got that, even in the day. They got the biggest chest ever. That you then have to put the work in it. And then it's all about reps. It's, it's all about reps, reps, reps. To me, the number one thing is just to focus again. What is your goal? Franco Colombo, who was my training partner, was responsible if I just blinked that he said, well, let's pump up the day. The day I challenge you to a bench press competition. Let's see if you can beat a 180 pound little guy. Let's see. And he would, he would know how to push the buttons because that's what the responsibility of a training partner is. So I, whenever people say, how can you be successful in bodybuilding or in lifting or in sports or in this, that, I always believe 100% in a training partner because a training partner is helping you when you have your moments where you're down and then the other person is up so Franco was pushing him when I was down I was pushing him when he was down that was the responsibility of a training partner Arnold Schwanziger chess workout were characterized by intensity hard work and a relentless pursuit of perfection regardless of your genetic potential you can adopt the principles that made Arnold successful in bodybuilding his superheroes like Pex. These principles will help you to make serious progress on your own chest building journey. Be sure to maintain proper form throughout each exercise and take short rest periods between sets. Remember, quality over quantity is the key. Are you ready to embark on this intense journey? Get to the gym and let's make every rep count. I mean, to me, the flies was an exercise that uh, gave me the full pectoral muscle development because I went all the way out and almost hitting the ground and I was a big believer in expanding the chest as much as possible and giving that stretch because remember with muscles, the important thing always is to get the stretch and to get the flex. And so to me, that going all the way out with the dumbbells as far as you can to get that stretch and then to come in and then to have the dumbbells touch and then flex like you're doing the most muscular up and then going out again. Those are the kind of exercises to me that were like, uh, you could not replace them with any machine.
a smaller man can also win those big championships because he was so perfect his body was so extraordinary and on top of that besides his huge muscles and his muscularity and his definition and all this he was so strong he was literally one of the strongest people that I've ever met I mean think about that the body weight of 180 pounds to do three reps of deadlift with 710 pounds he did 740 pounds one time on the stage 740 pounds of deadlift with a body weight of just 180 and bench press 530 squat at any time with 600 I mean the guy was an animal and he was such a dear friend I mean we did so many things together we did movies together we traveled around the world together so to have this man gone is just such an unbelievable loss he was such an unbelievable inspiration to so many millions of bodybuilders around the world he was such a great contribution to our bodybuilding sport and he was always into helping people he became a doctor in chiropractic just to help people from morning to night every day he was in his office and always at night when he was tired and he came home he would smile he was happy that he could help so many patients throughout the day he was selfless he was unbelievable unlike anything else so we miss him dearly and this is why I just want to announce today we will have for the first time the most muscular trophy be the Franco Colombo trophy and the trophy and the sculpture came out fantastic it mean exactly like Franco with his huge lats, it's a double bicep pose, with his huge lats and his small waist, his huge thighs, the back and everything is there. And so I'm so happy that this statue was built and designed and sculpted by this artist so quickly. Normally it's something like that takes a long time. But I was just so driven by that idea that Franco has to be alive for us all the time. And with this trophy, he will stay alive with us. Because I know he will always be in our minds, and he will always be in our hearts. But this trophy, when you see it tonight, you will see what I'm talking about. So it will be the most muscular, the Franco Colombo most muscular trophy. It will be an extra category we will have now every year at the Arnold Classic. So, so it's just, we are very happy about that.